considering we are in an age of remakes and remasters and everything else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, obviously it's a lot easier for Sega to turn around and go, here's another port of our beloved yeah, game yeah. instead of... But that. I mean, like, they've been making a, a considerable more effort to, like, port things, like, make better ports, essentially. Because, like, a, a lot of those 3D classic ports are actually, um, I'd say, like, the definitive versions of the games. Like, the Afterburner one's amazing. Outrun one is, in, in particular, absolutely fantastic. Like, I played that so much. Until the next, the next definitive. Well, yeah, yeah, but like they're actually they're they're trying to improve them. They're not just straight ports. They they actually got add things. There's loads of like different um, for the outrun one in particular. Like there's lots of different like car settings and things. So you can have it like a, as a a better handling car or a quicker car or a better accelerating car and stuff. And it changes the color. And so there's things. a lot of stuff that's there that's definitely not in the original. I mean, no, yeah, definitely. And the other thing is as well with that port in particular is that the arc even the arcade version runs at 30 fps. But the 3DS version, they've actually made it on 60. Oh, that's so it's like the nicest playing one, um, like speed-wise, I guess. So which of the 3D classics have actually made their way out over here? Because I know Sonic 2 was listed to come out. That's like due later in the year. So basically, we've got to a point now where we've caught up with Japan, and they've all come out. Um, so Japan have now got the 3D port of Streets of Rage 2, but that's due next month over here. So we're only like a month behind them anymore now. So yeah. Let's see. Sorry. Um, that's not too bad then. Yeah, yeah. Day. So there's a big selection. Um, so you can get. I, mean, I think. No, Thunderblade, I don't think it's out yet. I think that's the next oh, one. I remember playing Thunderblade back in the day. I was yeah, terrible yeah. at it, but it was fun. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's, the port, it's a port of the arcade game, because like, the Mega Drive one is essentially a sequel. That's Super Thunderblade. Right. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like, it feels a bit janky. It's an early Mega Drive game, so it's, it hasn't taken it, well. Yeah. It doesn't abuse the power of the machine. Basically. But like the original Thunderblade, you can get on like the Mars system, and right. as you can imagine, like that has a kind of hard time like dealing with it. Um, so it'd be nice to actually play with a proper arcade version. Because it's the same with uh, Galaxy Force, because uh, that came out in the 3D classics, and there's a Mega Drive version, but not a very good faithful port of the, like the arcade version. And that, yeah, the 3D classic version is basically the arcade one. Crap, I've been abducted by a flying man. You're getting destroyed yeah. <laughs> from all all angles. I am terrible. <laughs> oh, Wee! There we go. And I fly more. Um, how do you stop that guy? Basically, it's like you want to jump attack him mainly. Um, there you go, you hit him. I got uppercut out of the air. Yeah, he's really difficult to sort of combo normally like a, like a standard enemy. Hence the floaty form madness. Yes. Is um, there going to be terribleness of this guy being back at the later part of the game, is there? Uh, they all appear again. Like That seems to be the standard thing, like you get a boss rush at the end of the game sort of thing. So yeah, spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> spoilers if you've never played this game. <laughs> this like plus 20 year old game. This guy's annoying. I just noticed the banner in the background says PPI. Like, it does. <laughs> Even then, they were trying to force him to claim PPI back. <laughs> and you got him. Good stuff. <laughs> Hooray! Victory's <laughs> ours! Indeed. I like that stage. I like all the little um, details of like when you hit the floor and then it knocks the lights and then you oh, around I never the really noticed any of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm so unobservant. <laughs> Alright. Stage so, three. Yeah, this is this is as far, far as you ever got. Oh this right. Is the theme park stage. In fact, look, that is basically the castle from Disneyland in the background. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> back it, back that straight off. Back back in a <laughs> back in an age where you wouldn't get a <laughs> copyright site for anything yeah, yeah, yeah. in the world. <laughs> So I used to just double tap in a direction and run it. That yeah, that's the other thing you don't have in this because like they had that in three, and you also have like the roll where you can roll in and out of the screen if you double tap like down and up, oh, which right. you don't have in this either. Did you not double tap and run in Streets One? No, oh. you, you always move like just a walking pace or anything. That feels 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's... I mean, it doesn't help that you've picked Max because like he is pretty damn slow. I'm a hog queen. All I need to do is just paint myself green, and I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that like, man is like steroids it, up, man. Well, I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure you could look in. Uh, if I'm quite sure the Incredible Hulk appeared in a Mega Drive game, but the the sprite has got to be very similar. Yeah, I don't know actually. Like, I, I've never even thought to look for a Hulk game on Mega Drive. I'm, I, there must be one. I'm gonna have to do that now. That's gonna be my project. After this. I'm gonna go <laughs> and have a look and see what Hulk games on the Mega Drive. Because I got like a fair few Marvel ones, like Spider-Man ones and stuff. Well, yeah, no, he's definitely been in a Mega Drive game. Yeah, if it's just um, like an old versus Marvel. Versus yeah, because yeah. the only Hulk game I played was the Incredible Hulk movie game, because oh, uh, Sega did that as well. It's actually quite a decent game because like it is essentially like the open world Spider-Man games. Oh, like, right. you can just go around the city and just wreck shit and like not <laughs> and like there's no comeuppance for your actions at all because you're a hero. <laughs> it just seems really weird, but like at the same time, it's dead fun. Cool, pirates. Let's go on the pirates ride. Oh, oh it's Dabby Dude. Oh, there you go. I hate those guys. They're worse in one. Yeah, oh, they go so fast in one. Yeah, yeah. And there's a particular level as well, I think. There's I loads of them on one level, yeah. I think yeah. it's the second stage, actually. Yeah, there is. But there's a level in particular, I can't remember which one it is, that they just go absolutely mental. Like. Yeah, yeah. That game has a bit of a habit of just like piling more and more stuff in there. Oh, the lift boss. Yeah. Lift boss is I mean, there's one in, there's a lift level in this as well, but it just seems a little bit more manageable. Like, everything in this seems a little bit more, like, fairer, I guess, is what I want to say. Was this well received? Because obviously, Street Rage or Bare Knuckle, or whatever it was. Yeah. Called, was, I imagine, received pretty well for it to get at least two sequels. But... Yeah, yeah. Well, I think this one in particular is often regarded like one of the best beaten ops. Um, but, like, um, there's quite an interesting. Because I got that Sega Mega Drive Collected Works book, yeah. uh, Kickstarter one. They they interview one of the guys that worked on the original, and I didn't realise, but like the whole point of Streets of Rage was basically just to make their own Final Fight because like Final Fight was really popular in the arcades, yeah. so it was like let's do our own and get in that market as well. So yeah, inadvertently like creating their own franchise, but at the same time like just ripping well, something that, else off. <laughs> is, is it you that, better take that because you want to run down. Yeah. Isn't that the whole idea of most things these days though? Is to in a modern age see if you can actually make a franchise although nobody wants to take a risk on a, on a new IP yeah I guess so like I think I think with anything like if you have a successful game you might as well like do sequels and cash in on the fact that people are people are into the previous one um, that's just been a thing from this <laughs> the beginning of time I look things yes maybe because we're now just a little bit older and a little bit wiser we see these things well I mean yeah but at the same time, like the franchises of our youth, I suppose, like they ended a little bit faster. They don't, they haven't been as drawn out. I suppose the only exception being like Sonic, um, which is still going. But well, things like, well, I mean, this has only got three games. They've never tried to reboot it at any good point. I think there has been like there is one of these on the classic collection, isn't there? I'm pretty sure the classic collection has all three. Oh, on you know, the, you on the 3DS. PS3 and 360. Oh right, sorry. Um, 3DS ones. Yeah, no. There's only Streets of Rage one at the moment, but they are going to do two as well. Um, there's, there's, there's been no announcement for three yet. I imagine we will do some point. They have well, it seems pointless to do the first two and not the third. So well, I, I can imagine they'll announce another season of the games. We haven't done any Golden Axe 3D Have they not? No, no. And I thought like because Golden Axe be... one was. God, this is the thing because Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and Revenge of Shinobi were always my thing. Yeah, back yeah, on the Mega totally. Drive because they're all on the, the three and one cart. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so they were always my thing back in the day. And Revenge of Shinobi, Revenge of Shinobi is a hard game. Yeah, I don't think I've ever completed it to be honest. With you. I've completed it once. Really? Wow. Okay. The last boss is such a pain. Oh God. I originally got like Shadow Dancer and like Shadow Dancer is where you always get to, and then the most annoying stage after that is the junk level. And I mean like Shadow Dancer the game. Oh right. Like it's it's a Shinobi sort of semi sequel. Do you want to grab that? Turkey? Oh that's a good point. Yeah, I don't think. Let's get rid of him. Cool. Um yeah, no, because I I'd, I'd never played that one. And um that one's more like the original Shinobi, where it's like one hit one hit kills. Oh. Yeah. I've never played the original. Yeah, yeah, no, the original Shinobi is hardcore, man. <laughs>